Okay, so what we're going to learn today is how to create some construction type text coming out of the metal just like we're seeing here. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all you want to have a uh, find a picture of some checker plate like this and then just a sheet metal picture just like this and then we want to go into image adjustments desaturate and then same for this one image adjustments desaturate then click back on the checker plate layer and grab your text tool and then type in the text that you want to put on your metal. So just going to type that there and the text we're going to use is impact and the size we're going to use 240. I uh, won't use bold or, you yeah, know. Okay, then give that a tick. Move, use the move tool to center it. Then what we want to do is drag it down here so we have a duplicate copy. Uh, hide the previous layer by clicking the eye and then right click on this layer and select rasterize type. The next thing we want to do is grab our picture of the metal over here and then just drag it across there so it uh, falls in here and then go into edit free transform and then whilst holding shift or you can just sort of drag it across like this you don't have to hold shift actually and then give that a tick and then we want to whilst holding control uh, click on the box where the text is to get the selection there then go to select inverse and then press the delete key and then go to select inverse or select deselect and now what we want to do is highlight these two layers just like so by holding shift and then clicking them and then select merge layers then what we want to do is right click here and select blending options and that brings up the blending options here now we want to select bevel and emboss so if we click on the text it will tick it and then we want to select outer bevel depth 350 um, percent now the size you can sort of play around with just to depending on how big your picture is so we're using a pretty large picture so yeah, we'll leave the depth at 350 and the size I'm going to use here 18. You might only have to use 10 if you're using smaller picture. So actually I'm just going to use 20. Okay, then we want to change the glass contour to Gaussian. And then we want to change the blending mode to color dodge. And then the shadow mode to color burn and then we want to change the opacity to 90 colors black uh, down here we want to change the opacity to 100 and for the angle probably want to use angle of 120 Okay, then we want to select contour just like this and then change this option to cover deep just by clicking there and then click back here. Range is 50%. Next thing we want to do is select the gradient overlay and for this gradient overlay we want to select the blending mode to linear burn just like that and the opacity we want to select around 25% and the gradient just leave it as black style linear 90 degrees and 100 percent and finally we want to select stroke change the color to white hit OK and then the size you just want to choose two pixels or maybe even one and the position is outside blending mode normally normal and the opacity we want to select at 50% so with that opacity maybe we just gonna select 4 for this one so it depends on how big your image is 
Okay, so now we're going to hit OK on that. And so far we have that sort of effect. Now, to give it a more natural looking effect, uh, we want to select the background and then go into Select All, and then Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. Now it puts it on this new layer, so we want to drag that layer above to the top here, above our layer here. And then whilst holding control, click on the layer again to get that selection. Then go into select, inverse, press your delete key, and then select, deselect. Now with this layer selected, we want to change the blending mode to overlay. And that's it. Now that gives it a more natural look. And yeah, so I hope this has been a help to you. Thanks for watching.